And tonight, another one. A local doctor who got the virus survived, and now she is using her battle to help others. Channel 2's Phil Archer spoke with that MD Anderson physician who is now donating plasma, which is being used to treat other yeah. coronavirus patients. Phil? That's right. She and her whole family contracted the virus a little over a month ago. Her husband had to be hospitalized. They got through it with the help of friends and co-workers, and now she's trying to give back and help those who are currently infected. Dr. Lindsay Kilgore is a breast cancer surgeon at MD Anderson Hospital. She was infected with COVID-19 back in March, along with her husband and small children. She says it was the sickest she's ever been in her life, but she didn't have the luxury of staying in bed. My husband was hospitalized for four days. I was stuck alone with two toddlers at home, trying to fight the virus myself um, and not having any other support. The support that I did have and what was so important to me was my MD Anderson family. Everyone rallied around me. People were dropping stuff off at my doorstep or dropping off food, supplies, toys for the kids because they knew that they needed to be entertained. It took three weeks for them to recover and afterwards Dr. Kilgore says she felt she had to give something back. So many people helped me during that difficult time and if I could make a positive come from this horrible experience. I wanted to do it. So she decided to donate blood plasma in a national FDA program. The plasma from recovered patients is given to patients currently fighting the disease to boost their immune systems. Early results are promising. Dr. Kilgore says the experience with the virus has changed her life and the way she practices medicine. We've had to learn how to be flexible and be efficient and persevere. And it's also taught me a lot of patience. And things don't always go as planned. And this was a reminder of that. It also reminded me how important my family and friends are to me. By the way, Dr. Kilgore is afraid of needles. She says she passed out the first time she had tried to give blood in high school. But obviously from that photograph, you can see the diversity makes us stronger. And today is the Kilgore's 10th wedding anniversary. Her husband celebrated it by donating his blood plasma for COVID patients. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.